Hi everyone and welcome back to another session of test automation in general certification. So far we have uh, covered all the layers, all the test layers and one interface of the generic test automation architecture. Today we will be covering the remaining two interfaces which are project management and uh, test management. And uh, as these are quite brief topics, so I have combined them in the same session. So let's first start with the project management of a test automation solution. Okay, so first we will go through what's in the syllabus and then I will explain that. As any test automation project is a software project, it requires the same project management as any other software project. Okay, so when we are working on any other software project, there are different steps it goes through, different phases it goes through, and the same needs to be done for the project management of a test automation solution. Because when we are working on the automation of a framework or a solution, it itself is a project. So uh, any automation project is no different than any other software project we work on. So it needs to be planned, set up and managed just like any other project and it does require dedicated project management. And why is that? Because when you are working on any other project, let's say, uh, there are always changes in a software project. Uh, as long as it's not obsolete and it's not being used anymore, for any other any active software project, there are always changes. It's always evolving. There are always changes uh, needs to be done. Like new features are added, some features are updated, etc. So similarly, if you have a test automation solution for that project, then you need to do the same with the test automation as well. So it's not that you just uh, develop the test automation um, solution for the project and then you just forget about it because it might be working right now, but it will break as soon as there are changes in the project because then your test automation solution is not in sync with, uh, with, the, with the project and uh, you need to continuously do the updates in the test automation solution as well. So uh, that's why it needs to be treated as a project. So the project management as you do for any other project needs to be done for the test automation solution as well. A TAE needs to perform the test tasks for all phases of the established SDLC methodology when developing the TAS. Okay, so the test automation engineer will be performing the same tasks as usually we do for the any other project because we just established this in the previous point that the project management of test automation solution will be similar will be the same as it will be for any other software project so if we have uh, agreed on this then yes a test automation engineer is responsible to perform the all tasks for all the phases of the SDLC methodology. Now, it depends that uh, what methodology um, you are using for the project. It can be any. So let's say if you are using Jira, so you can use Kanban, you can use Scrum. So whatever methodology you are using, you can use the same methodology for test automation solution as well. If you are using Jira, then yes, you can have a separate project for your test automation solution and uh, you can have multiple sprints and um, and then all the new requirements which you need to work on that can, that can go in the backlog. So, so basically you are running a separate project for the test automation solution. Also, a test automation engineer needs to understand that the development environment of the test automation solution should be designed such that the status information metrics can be extracted easily or automatically reported to the project management of the test automation solution. Okay, so yes, so whatever test automation solution you are using, we do need to extract the metrics as well because yes, you have developed the test automation uh, solution, but we need to know 
that what are the metrics so uh, just like any other project you do uh, use the metrics to show that what's the status of the project and now we have uh, established this fact that we need uh, to have the project management of a test automation solution just like any other project so we also need the metrics as well we also need the status information as well so that's why whatever the test automation solution we are using a test automation engineers responsibility is that to make sure that we can extract the metrics easily Okay, let's now move on to the uh, next portion, next interface, which is TA support for test management. A test automation solution must support the test management for the system under test. Okay, so uh, all these interfaces which we have learned about, like configuration management, project management, and our test management, these are all supporting the test automation architecture all the layers in the test automation architecture so similarly the test management uh, for the system under test should also have um, uh, some sync some compatibility um, with the test automation solution uh, because it depends like what kind of approach you are using for uh, for your test automation solution. So let's say that you already have um, manual tests and you are using a test management tool, um, then that tool can be synced with your test automation solution. So this is one way, or there can be many other approaches as well, which can be established, but it is very, very important, just like the project management needs to be monitored for a test automation solution. Similarly, the test management aspect is equally important. Test reports, including test logs and test results need to be extracted easily or automatically provided to the test management people or system of the system under test. Right. OK, so uh, just like for the project management, we do need to share the metrics like the status of the project. Similarly, we do need test reports from our test automation solution. And now this can be done in multiple ways as well. So if you have a test automation solution, you can also add the reporting feature in your test automation solution. And whenever you run, you whenever you execute any test scripts, you can, uh, um, uh, you can generate the test reports which can be shared with the team and it will also have the test logs as well like all the execution details and if something has failed any test has failed then it will it will also grab the information of why it was failed maybe with the screenshot as well so it all depends that what kind of test reporting capabilities you have added in your test automation solution so this can be an individual thing or if you can go a step further and you can also link it to um, any test management tool you are using nowadays there are many test management tools available which syncs to the which links to the um, the test automation of a solution which you are using and then you can um, uh, you can sync all the details so that's another way as well so if you think about that you have a project in jira let's say and then you have um you have the test automation solution in Jira. That that um, uh, that solution in Jira can be linked to any test management tool, and that test management tool can link to the test automation solution. So similar, so like you are syncing everything together, and you are getting all the up to date details uh, everywhere, like um, in your test management tool and uh, in your project management tool as well. So that's how all these three things, um, these interfaces, like uh, the configuration management as well, it helps the test automation solution, all the layers you have uh, worked on in the uh, test automation architecture. Okay, so uh, yeah, these are, so this is the end of the test automation architecture. Just to remind of that, uh, when we are working on a test automation architecture, and this is something which we have discussed earlier as well, it's 
not necessary that all these layers which we have uh, learned about here has to be present so these layers can be present or absent in any test automation solution so this needs to be kept in mind it all depends that what you are automating and what do you need from these layers because it's not important that uh, yes a test automation architecture always have to uh, need to have all these layers over there okay and then one more thing then uh, which sometimes is being confused is the um, test automation for the um, test automation sorry framework and test automation solution okay so the project management especially it can be separated from each other for the test automation framework and test automation solution and how i will explain that so let's say that uh, the test automation framework can be um, for that the test automation support can be for a whole company so let's say that your whole company can have one test automation framework or it can have separate test automation frameworks for different product lines so let's say your company has different products then for each product line or each product family you can have a different test automation framework or maybe your company have only one product then it will be one test automation framework for the whole company similarly when we talk about the test automation solution over here we are talking about a specific project so these kind of questions do come in the exam so that's why it's very very important to understand the concept that the project management can be separated um, this project management for test automation framework and test automation solution can be separated from each other so i hope that's clear but still if you have um, any kind of question any ambiguity something is not clear please um, add your comments in the description and i will try my best to respond as soon as possible okay so um this topic, a generic test automation architecture, was quite a huge topic and there is a lot which we need to absorb. So that's why I came up with the mind map because it's just like shows everything in one page. And uh, I think that will be easier for you when you are doing your revision. Um, so, so I hope that helps. Uh, one more tip to understand the uh, GTAA in much detail is that, that uh, let's say if you are working, if you're already working somewhere, then take any, any project in your company and uh, then start thinking about this GTAA structure that yes, for this project, what will you do? What kind of, um, let's say, uh, test generation layer you will need, the test definition if you need that, test execution. If you're using test adaptation layer, then yes, what do you need? Do you have APIs? Do you have um, uh, maybe any other uh, adapters like you need databases, etc. So try to think from that perspective about your project because only then it will be clear in your mind that how uh, how you will um, architect how you will structure your test automation uh, because uh, if you just go through it theoretically then uh, maybe it will not help unless you take an active project so i'm not talking about programming because of course that's not in the scope of the exam so we are not talking about programming because that's late that comes later that okay what programming language you want to develop your uh, framework that's a separate thing but this is the core the planning because if you are not planning the architecture correctly then it's not um, then it's not worth just jumping on to the um, the developing of uh, like just writing the code for your automation framework so think about it um, for any project you are working on and for those of you who are not currently working let's say then uh, so if you're not working somewhere then just take 
a website, any website uh, with different features. You can take um, an e-commerce website and uh, take it as your project and then think that, uh, yes, how will you um, incorporate all these layers and all these interfaces in your project because if you will do that then it will give you a vision in your mind of yes if you are uh, automating a specific project then uh, what would be the different components different layers different interfaces of that project and uh, then trust me that uh, whatever questions will come in the exam you will be able to answer them really really easily so i hope all that helps so thank you so much and uh, uh, in the next session we will cover the next topic till then uh, take care and bye